two babies. <laughs> Must have just hatched. Tiny little puff adder. My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go! We've come across lots of really cute baby animals. Let's take a look. These remote beaches along the Atlantic coastline of Southern Africa provide the breeding grounds for the African fur seals, where they gather in large colonies of up to 100,000 or more. There you go. That is the fur seal colony. This is the breeding season. So you've got lots and lots of pups. These pups are just a couple of months old, and it's only at this age that they begin to go in the water. They have to learn how to swim from their mum and the other fur seals around them. This is unbelievable. I'm trying to be really, really quiet and gentle with these pups. It's OK. <laughs> OK, they're quite terrifying. Next up in the Red Kalahari Sands, we catch up with a family of meerkats that's semi-habituated to people. Woo, there they are. The two babies, three babies. These are this year's litter. Their parents will be from the alpha female and male pair. Even so, the whole mob take a role in looking after the babies. Throughout the course of a day, they are looked after by babysitters who do not leave their side, making sure they are safe from predators. While doing so, the babies learn how to forage. One of their favorite foods are beetle grubs, but the prize catches are scorpions and lizards. By filming them all day, they got more and more used to our presence. It's getting a bit hot now, so we're just relaxing and I'm getting a bit of shade underneath this tree. They're playing with my hair. Ah! He's cleaning my hair. How precious is this? It's like a human babies. They're getting a little bit of milk before they all go off to bed. Driving through wildlife areas in Southern Africa, the best part is the unexpected animals you spot in the distance. Cool. It's an ostrich and, and loads and loads of baby ostriches. Let's just get out and have a look at this. Wow, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven baby ostriches with a male and a female. The male is the darker one on the left hand side. Females are lighter coloration, so the one on the right is a, is a female. So we've got a mum and dad with eleven kids. Wow, that is just so cool. Love it. In these rocky outcrops, I was out looking for snakes. What looks quite barren, actually there were small ponds. And miraculously, this creature was living there. Just spotted a little tiny terrapin. Be cool to show you this one. Woo! That is literally the tiniest terrapin I've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous. That shell is just perfectly formed, but tiny. The marsh terrapin is actually an ancient species. They've pretty much remained unchanged for 150 million years. So the formation of this, these rocks over 100 million years, so it could be that they've kind of evolved together among, in this area and they've seen a lot of change in the climate. And that is a baby beginning his life, his or her life. Whoop. Straight into the depths. Across the acacia bushveld of Southern Africa, you often encounter tortoises. This place is just full of them, but I certainly wasn't expecting to find a brand new clutch of them. Check this out! A tiny, tiny leopard tortoise. Must have just hatched. Wow, there's like loads of them! There must have been a whole clutch! If you look really close at the end of that beak, that there is an egg tooth, and they are born with those to be able to get out of that shell which they're developing in. I can tell that this is probably only a few days old, maybe only just born.
Last up, the puff adder is a venomous snake, often on the move in the early part of the night to find an ambush position, which is when we came across this neonate. Puff adder, whoa! Bring him down. There you go. Tiny little puff adder, a baby size. They're actually only about six inches long. And so this one is maybe a couple of years old. He's managed to get through that really vulnerable stage in their lives when they're tiny. Lots of predators would eat a puff adder, even though they're venomous. But this size would be eating small rodents and potentially some larger geckos. Thanks for watching everyone. More of the animals featured can be seen in these videos.